Okay, so it was the Heroes National Stadium. That was the venue for that one. Uh, uh, Saka Dynamo was actually winning that one. Let's turn our attention to the second game that day at the Heroes National Stadium. It was the Bankers renewing their rivalry against uh, Zesco United, Tim Yaziko. So for Zlako Krimpotic and Numba Mamba, they probably wanted to get points off each other. I don't think a draw would have been an equitable result. But 3-2 it finished. Before we begin to discuss the trends in the game, I would probably want to ask you, so three penalties, Dennis? Yeah, I was watching that game. I watched... Perhaps uh, the biggest highlight of those games yeah, were the penalties. The penalties were the biggest highlights, I think. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Mr. Roderick uh, Ngandu, he, um, he was the man in charge. So I'm sure whatever he saw. But... Uh, the, the only question that I asked was for the the third penalty, the one the that, zero. Uh, yeah, the zero penalty. Yeah, I because the referees will tell us about the natural position of, of the hand. Yeah, the hand was stuck to his body. Coach, you know, you see, the, uh, uh, if your hand stuck in your body, and sometimes the opponent he kick the ball. Uh, it's not a penalty. Yeah, I know the ball touched the hand, but the player he didn't move his hand to stop natural position to stop the the, the, the direction ball, or yeah. to change the direction of the ball because some sometimes the player stand and the opponent come the other player from the other from the opponent he just mean to kick the ball in his hand for the referee to blow the whistle hand ball uh, or penalties and the, some of the referees they just say okay the ball touched the hand but as a referee, he said, no, 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 play. Natural position of the hand. But I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, what could uh, Numba Mamba be thinking right there? And, and I saw Zio Tembo, who is an absolute gentleman about the whole thing. You see, it's in the law, if the, hand, if the ball touch the hand, if the player touch the ball with his hand, inside the box is penalty. Outside the box is direct free kick, hand, hand ball. But what we call it, this is what the experience of the referee. We, the, this is why the experience, this is why referees go to AFCON, go to the World Cup, like Dennis Kazui, as a referee, they don't go. Because that's the experience now. And uh, what we call it, the, so, the, the, the spirit of the law. Huh? Okay, you see it, it's not fair. Hmm. The player, his hand like this, and the other one to shoot the ball. So. So that is the experience of the, of the referee and how he can handle the laws, the regulation and the laws of the game uh, in this situation. Okay, let's have a look at uh, that game. Uh, we'll just gloss over it briefly. Let's look at uh, Zanako in attack, shall we? Because Zanako were the victors in, in this game. But this was what was happening. Zanako in red, Jessica United in orange. So... Let me turn your attention to the number nine, almost bottom of your screen. That's Kennedy Mson, of course, track partnership with Suleiman Loko, the Congolese international. But here's what was happening. And this, this is something that I think we've discussed for a while. Let's talk about the attacking variables and then get to the defensive variables. So you've got Kennedy Mson, the number nine, who's making screening runs up and down the pitch and, or, or, of course, across the pitch and then you also have this situation now when the ball gets into midfield there you would have a situation where uh boydum under the shirt number 21 would go forward and richard Kasonde would remain behind but for zesco united we're playing 4-4-2 in this game i want us to discuss this little matter in terms of the defensive chores which they had they play 4-4-2 jesse jackson where he is playing as a striker in a 4-4-2 with Kasire. But look at what's happening. John Chingandu is given a central role. But when in attack, Jesse Were would peel off to the right-hand side. Now, when they lose the ball in transition right there, when it gets to chasing and tracking back, Were and Chingandu have to track back. And I'm sure it's awkward for John Chingandu to be chasing from middle chasing wide will he catch the attack ever no it's uh, it's part of the of the tactic 
it's uh, because this code uh, this is where he, he he likes to go right and left to to skip from from the from the opponent marker from the defender uh, then it depends about the one coming whatever player coming from the midfield to finish that job was done by uh, Mbombo before he go yeah. going to the right and and Jesse where he come from the middle this is why he scored too many goals okay uh, now Jesse where is on doing that job for Mbombo for Kassiri for Kassiri so they depend about when he's win the ball he just drop the ball back to the midfield to change his position uh, and to open for the winger so sometimes it works sometimes it it, it takes time when it comes to defending Yes, tactically, when you're attacking, yes. It will work, okay, okay, let John come from wide going to the middle. Let Were come from the middle and come wide. When you lose the ball. Yeah, I think it was uh, uh, giving them a problem because I, I, I watched even John when he played for the national team. You play him as uh, number eight to track back. He can't. It's not used. Uh, I think they were finding a, a problem there. No wonder Taonga Wembi and uh, uh, the number three was the Nako. Chongo Chiro. Chongo Chiro. They were having too much room because for Jesse Were and uh, 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 John to come and track back, they were taking too long. But look, I, I, they, I, I, they, I, they I, won't have time to, uh, to, to track back. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you this, you is why, saying this is why the key person for for the security on, on that attack formation, in, in that attack situation, it's uh, the defensive midfield. This is why uh, Mishik Shaila, when he was playing, was doing this job very well, because he knows. Huh? But let, let me ask you a question. And, and perhaps Zlako Krimpotic had a the plan zone, for it. How to manage the zone. No, whatever. perhaps Zlako Krimpotic had a plan for it. And what I, I'm going to ask is that he plays Kondwan Mtonga and Shaila in central midfield. I don't believe Kondwan Mtonga is a eight. So no matter what he he all he will behave more of a defensive midfielder even if you give him license to attack. Did Which brings me to my question is that when you look at the way uh, Zesco United were attacking and wanted to attack, Kondwa would go forward. That would leave Mishek Chail alone. Now if it leaves Mishek Chail alone, if he goes to cover wide, he leaves space in the middle. Yeah, that's uh, that. That was the. So what's the deal there? That was <laughs> the biggest uh, difference. Uh, actually, I want I want to talk about Zanako. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Boyd Dimsonda because he's young and he's very energetic. There were two holding midfielders, uh, uh, Boyd and uh, Jemba Jemba. Boyd would go when they lose the ball. Boyd will still come back. His position, but when Kondwani goes, rate of recover. Rate of recovery very bad, and then Mishek goes to cover wide. So there was always the, there was that gap. What what do we do? I think we we should protect the players that make the game beautiful, like John Chingand, like Jesse Jackson were. But if if both of them their rate of recovery is brought into question, how? Mm. What do you do? Maybe perhaps that's why George Van Der Mina always played with two defensive midfielders and you would ask them to sit no matter what. Yeah, because it was the two defensive midfielders, you really take decision to split the team on the attack. You limited the number of the players on the attack. So like this, you always secure. You always secure that the team, like you're not going to concede. This is why you don't concede, but also Sometimes you not score because you are not increasing the wave of th of the pressure on the opponent by by pushing the player from the midfield. Because now when you play with two defensive midfield, it means you lock six players uh, behind, and now you assign when you are attacking, you assign one of them to go. If this one is doesn't go, okay, you, the breakdown it will happen, and you keep dispossessed. How 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 do you play now? I'm I'm I just think, thinking. I think let me let me just uh, maybe comment on uh, the way that uh, George was playing. Uh, two holding midfielders. It it really worked because of the intelligence of uh, Kratos. They had Kratos. They had uh, Jackson. 
Jackson eh, 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 Mwanza. Mwanza. Jackson Mwanza Mbombo and Jeje Were. Yeah. That combination even if these guys the, the two guys was it Akumu the Akumu and Kondwa Kondwa they were just moving slowly plus the two full backs they were really pushing it really worked but I, I've seen this year for this year it has uh, a bit it has failed because of uh, there's no that creativity that that creators uh, uh, used to bring into Those the let me just ask this question plain and simple because we've seen them playing 4-4-2 do Zesco have players that can link up the play? Practically and tactically, the way we've seen them play this year. No, Do they, they have need, links? They need, they need one attacking midfield. We don't have good attacking midfield. To, make link, to link this chain uh, during the attack to speed the transition. This is why when... You know Kletas how he's playing. Uh, Kletas... The, he start from from a zone or from from a position in a zone right or left then after this he plays a joker huh so he moved in the space this is why for the opening the opening what they're doing they start looking for letters he's a magnetic player you when you have the ball he's a magnetic player so you try uh, he take the ball to the space he attract two two players or three players from the opponent with him. Then he make that pass. So he create a lot of space for his teammate huh? during the attack. This is why this score has been fitting too much from him and the score too many goals. Okay, let's take stock of the Zesco United attack in this game because we've talked about their dilemma and issues in a defensive sense. So. Here's what they're trying to do. So Lazarus Kambole, who's playing more as a winger these days for Zesco United, shirt number 10 in orange up your screen, who tried to make that diagonal run and hoping to put Taonga Wembia into that uh, uh, central position. Then you have uh, Faxon Kapumbu, the shirt number 3, who's making that uh, straight run up the pitch and trying to utilize the space that has been vacated by the movement of Kambole. Then you've got John Chingandu there. And then Zanako put Richard Kasfonde on John Chingandu. Okay, that's 1v1. And then you also have a situation where Kasire now is left to stick alone as a center forward with Didi Kitumbo there. Then you've got Jesse Jackson where who would start from the penalty area spot and begin to start running diagonal deep hoping to get the ball. Because Maybe at the end of the day, Jesse Jackson Were may not be the greatest of talents when it comes to 1v1 situations and trying to win the ball. But look at the position of the ball there. The when space. he's coming down, you've got Augustine Mlenga there. You've got Zia Tembo for company there. You've got Chongo Chira. Maybe that explains why Zesco needed to score using penalties then. Yeah, because uh, I think I still insist that they still know creativity in the Zesco midfield if if they can uh, I don't know maybe that's why they tried to sign creators back because the, that creativity I remember uh, uh, there was was it Justin Zulu uh, Kondwani they were creating creators from this side Mwape or sometimes they'll be calling or Jackson Mwanza they were there was too much creativity but this time I don't see that happening. But I'm, I'm, I'm also thinking, what effect could be going on through the heart? It, it hasn't been a bad season for Zesco. Yes, they're still in continental club competition. They can still win the league. So it's not, it's, it's not a, when you a big attack, crisis. When you're attacking, when you reach the final set, you need two players. One box player, striker. Okay, good number nine. And good number eight. This is the two player, the one they can hold the team in the final set. Like this, you 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 take position in the final set until you finish with the goal. If you don't have these two, it means you keep playing wide, wide, wide. Even if you reach around the box, the players, the the one you have, like for me, just where he need a space. You don't give him a space. Jerry is just where he can he can struggle. 
a little bit because he can dribble one but he can dribble two yeah. okay so he need a space so the way he score he score he need a space to run then after he make the run he's good in the box but he can't sometimes he it depend about the other striker with him he did he understand his movement inside the box like this he create a space for him for the final touch that is the situation yo so what do we do <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just thinking because which the John, one, which the John, the best John <laughs> <laughs> because Kletas was the second dynamo is now okay fine so that's it. but they've got John Chingando they've got Moape Moana yeah they've got uh, John they've got Moape uh, but uh, I remember could they be a victim of tactics and and that's no, why no, I no, want to ask no, you no, to explain no, they have a material just could they have a material. And there is one uh, striker, uh, I think it's from, from, I'm forgetting his name, it's from Ghana, he's very tall, uh, he scored against us. That one, he play, he's a box player, he can be playing box player, he's very good. He's very tall, very strong, accurate player. That one, if they use him, as a box player, you can give so the good the, result the Zesco the players could they be a victim of tactics no, since no. they have the material? It's we, we, they, they need to get the act together. No, 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 we can every coach he could his own philosophy and his go, uh, his own tactic, and he try to enforce his philosophy and his tactic with his technical bench uh, to the player and they try to convince how good this tactic, how exciting. Excitement, this tactic, how how interesting, create a lot of chances. Yeah. That is that is that is a uh, experience of the coach. So we can't say uh, this club is victim. That is experience for the coach. And the end of the day, football is a result. If your tactic is good, you win. If your tactic is bad, you lose. You lose. Yeah. Have you seen Junching under this year to the levels that you'd like? Mopemolo, the flair players for Zesco United, even Jesse Were, yes, he's getting some goals here and there. But is he the machine that you know he could be? Uh, uh, for me, uh, I'm not trying to criticize or, or anything, but I think uh, I haven't seen the best out of uh, the, the qualities that uh, Zesco players uh, possess, like Mwape Moerwa, John Chingando, uh, 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 Mat uh, is it uh, Dark or Martin? Is it Dave, Dave, Dave Dark. Dark. Those boys have got a uh, uh, real talent. But I don't know, it's not just coming out. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let me yeah, also let me you when ask they, you when this. They play, when they play last year with, with George, they have uh, Dresden Bombo, they have Jesse Weary, and also the idea for Zesco is to the, the good fast winger to as a puller from defense to attack. To attack yeah. So even Faxon is doing very good job with this. Even he's doing the same job with the national team. He's a puller. Take the team with his speed, push the ball, play with his wing, with the winger. So he took the team very fast from defense to attack. Now the issue now, when you reach to the final, final set, fight. now changing the position and the understanding of attacking midfield, how to build the triangle uh, with the two strikers. That's what that I was going to ask. Now. That's what I was going to ask. I'm, I'm tending to think Zesco United have tried to make Ondwani Mtonga an attacking midfielder this year. They really have tried. And because of that, it's important that Faxon Kapumbu then is having good games. Most many goals Zesco United has been getting is because of the industry of Faxon Kapumbu from left back. From left back. Playmaker from yes, left I think, back. I think uh, most of their play, most most of their play is uh, is being initiated by Faxon. It's coming from the left, a uh, cross, a uh, goal, b but you don't see much from the right or from the central midfield because I think, uh, for me, I feel Kondwan is a uh, sitting uh, uh, midfield, is, is a nodding midfield. So if you you play him as an attacking midfield, meaning he now. You, you disadvantage your team because going forward is is very slow to go and join because he's used uh, uh, to playing as uh, an odd midfield. Okay, Zambia's premier analysis show 
we'll be back in a jiffy where we bring you analysis of our feature match for the weekend napsa stars had a debt with forest rangers seven goal thriller we'll bring you the details after we pay bills <laughs> 